hi guys it's destiny from desfix and welcome back to another video in the channel and this one i'm gonna go ahead and start creating the logout authentication that is what we'll be doing hopefully you guys will enjoy the video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started now as you already know what we will do is go ahead and open up the project code this one over here hms tutorial i will come over to show more options and click on open with code and this should open it up on my default code editor which is visual studio code so the very first thing that i will do is go ahead and zoom in so that everyone can see what i'm doing over here and after that i will just clear off all the tabs that are already opened up okay so now the very first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up the user auth views py this one shouldn't be really long it should be um actually very short and quick because we don't have much things to do over here all i want you to do is just import the logout function from over here and down here we need to go ahead and create so down here we will go ahead and create a new function and you can call this one logout view it depends on what you want to call it and over here let's just pass in requests and just like that we're almost done all you need to do is go ahead and call the logout and in here we will just go ahead and pass in requests so what this will do is it will automatically kill whatever instance of a logged in user that is running the application and after it has done that we also want to return a message dot success and let's say something like firstly passing requests then let's say something like you have been logged out you have been logged out okay so after that then we will go ahead and return redirect back to user odds sign in okay so we are redirect back to sign in and hopefully you know this keyword over here is pretty much whatever you passed in here okay so make sure that they all match up and finally let's register this in the url remember we called it logouts view and um, over here, I will just change this to sign out. And finally, over here, I will change this to sign out. And the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and put this sign out in the logout button. But before that, let me spin off my server, pymanage py run server. There you go, it's coming up. So I will go ahead and open this up on my default browser, which is Chrome. And this is what we have over here. So right now we have the sign in, but I, it actually doesn't really work. So all we need to do is go ahead and manually come over to, to the user slash sign up. Then you see we can create an account from over here. I can sign up a real, an account real quick, then register. Okay, my account has been created, but you will not be able to see that because there is no alert or anything. Don't worry, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and, and start working with an alert okay and after we've done this now if you try coming over to sign in you will see that it should take us back to the home page which means we are actually logged in but if you now come over to slash sign out then what do you notice we have been signed out but just because we don't have any alerts that is why we are not able to see any message but that's pretty much it as you can see we have been signed out so that's pretty much it it's as easy as that logging users out just require you to input the logout function and go ahead pass in the requests parameter into the logout function and that should be it you should kill every instance of um, any logged in user data or whatever that constitutes that okay so i think that's pretty much it hopefully you enjoy this video and learn something new in the next one we're going to go ahead and start working with alerts and after that we're going to go ahead and start working with template inheritance so that we will be able to see some things like change the buttons and actually make all this work and functional because right now our templates does not look good at all so in the next one we're going to work with a lot and in the upper one we're going to work with template inheritance that's going to be it hopefully you enjoyed the video once more to make sure to drop a like because that subscribing has really mean the world to me and i hope to see you in the next video until then mad love peace out